Hello, my beautiful people from Otoshebo Mama. Thank you for watching our YouTube channel. Please do not forget to subscribe and press the notification button. Thank you. One love. Bye bye. I greet you. This is how I be at home resting. And uh, some of my persons will be so angry over a common Facebook post. This I'll be at home on my phone checking on my staffs, running businesses, conglomerates. Some persons will be angry. Some persons can have a bad day. Somebody, some persons can have a bad day because of what they read on your post. That's how crazy life is, man. Some persons can have a bad day based on what you post on your own wall. Not be their wall, though. You not talk to them. Some persons can have a bad day, but that's crazy, man. It's really crazy. I just want you to know now, so I take the time trouble. Bad day, yeah. This is my machine. <laughs> Audrey, I see you, man. All right, guys. I'm enjoying the adult politics. I they laugh. <laughs> I laugh in Swahili. <laughs> adult politics. Very interesting time to watch. People are fighting themselves over a system that is not working. When I have time, I'll discuss more to you guys. But right now, I'm chilling, man. I'm, I'm, I'm resting. Uh, guys, that political matter, though, man. I don't know. Oh, the only problem in Nigeria is electricity. Every day we live on generator, man. Ah, fresh. No, that's not true. Ah, uh, now no matter, no. Based on I be fresh boy before. Believe me, man. I be fresh boy normal, normally, but you don't say if you did Nigeria. This is the fact. If you don't believe me. Come and try it. You come and live in Nigeria as much as I do. Nigeria will make you look 10 years older than your age. The situation in Nigeria will make you 10 years older than your age. Do you know what it means to think that, oh, I cannot go out because it's rain, everywhere will be floody. Do you know what it means to think that there's no light today, I'm a generator. It makes me really sad when I see people who live abroad some people who, they, who benefit so much from western countries you benefit so much from western countries right so much you benefit you they give you health care they give you good road they give you light they give you everything you need they even give you money sometimes in many western countries as a man you will not be a woman as a man if you are married as a man in many western countries in like sweden and so many other countries your husband your wife born your work will pay you 100 percent of your salary for one year, maybe they sit down for us with your wife. Yes. In many Europe countries, I don't know about some, but in Sweden, for example, if your wife is uh, pregnant, she, she have a baby, you can stay at home for one year and you, the place you are working for will still be paying you salary for one year just for you to stay with your wife because you had the baby. <laughs> this is a country whereby doctors go on strike. Nigeria, they don't pay doctors for, for, for months. This is the country you are still supporting it. Man, I'm ashamed of any of you guys, man. Let me let me read comment here. Okay, you can ask me anything. I wasn't planning to do live video, but since we are here, let, we can just talk to you guys briefly. Okay. The safari of you will not be loud anytime I pay visit Nigeria. I always am sure, of course. Now, of course, okay. I lived in America for 20 years. In that 20 years, they only blink light once. I lived in America for 20 years. In that 20 years, they only blink the light during this uh, hurricane Katrina. All right, when they had an hurricane in Louisiana, Louisiana is very close to Texas, so it, the storm kind of affected many electricity. They only pew and it came back. And guess what? America have like five reserves of electricity that if the first one comes out, another one is coming in. Nigeria, we are still struggling with electricity. Electricity, something that can be created by sun, something that can be created by wind, something that can be created by dams, water. We have everything to create electricity. 
but they do not want to give us electricity because they benefit more money selling uh, fuel in jerry cans than in vehicles yes less than 20 percent of nigerians own a vehicle less than 20 percent of nigerians own a vehicle not every house but the average house in nigeria must have a gen you must buy fuel all right if you run a fuel if you run generator for one evening you will spend about three thousand naira. but you can drive a car three thousand naira for almost one week before we sit there so you have to start thinking that these people are just killing us man it's crazy it's crazy all right let's read some comments here we don't believe on politicians but good government of course of course that's the way it's supposed to be good governance is what we all should be living good governance is what we all should believe in i believe in good governance as well i think that i am a front runner when it comes about believing in good governance i think i am one person who is in the front row not only in a dossier but in nigeria because not just talking about it i act towards it all right to talk about good governance online is okay it's okay oh this governor is good this is it's okay but what you can do on ground if you have a situation and you don't like it you as an individual you have to go and fix it and that's what i'm doing i'm a pioneer when it comes to demanding good governance because we are using our platform to show government that look this thing can be done we have a sport program we have go sports we have been doing that for three years we remove young people from the street send them to sports helping them achieve their potential and those they don't have it the entire those they don't have it but the girls and foundation have a sport program we have a feeding program we have been doing that since july 1st 2017 every saturday we have done it 121 times free food and those state government don't have it we are building the first free healthcare in those states and those state government don't have it we are uh, removing children from the streets shelter we have a school and those state government don't have a free school even the school they have where many children sit on the ground, they still make them pay. Alright? So, we are just using ourselves to show that governance is achievable if we have the right people that to work with. Alright? <laughs> Andrew, please don't throw another bomb. I love reading comments. Okay. We don't throw bombs. Andrew, we don't throw bombs. We just pick things the way they are. A lot of persons don't understand me. A lot of persons say, you are supporting this. I am not supporting anybody. I am just speaking things the way it is. Some people will say, they will say, hey, focus on your charity. Leave politics alone. Are you mad? Please, don't give me such advice. It's a very, very stupid advice. As an every adult citizen, you have a right to politics. You have a right to your opinion. You have a right to question your government. Your government is not your superior. Your government, you are the superior of your government. All right, because they are working for you, they are working to protect the state, they are working to ensure that your life, your family life, your properties are safe. Do you think your life is safe in those states as a case study? No, let's be real. You come from diaspora to enjoy a normal evening going out. Do you think your life is safe? We see many of our brothers who come from diaspora, some of them have three, four, five soldiers moving around with them. That's because the community is not safe. You cannot tell me that the community is safe when we have the last four months or six months, we have had four fire outbreak, major fire. Ekiosa market burn, Uwelu market, uh, Olia market and other places. Yet, no single suspect, no one person is arrested, no investigation carried out. Do you think you are safe? Then if you think you are safe in such community that cannot carry out frequent fire incidents, you cannot investigate that, then what can they really investigate? You think they're going to investigate when somebody kills you on the side of the road and drive off? Of course not. Edo people must understand that in the last four years, Edo people have received close to 50 billion naira on security. But you don't know. You are just supporting it. Do you know how much is education budget? Do you know how much the budget in education, in healthcare? You don't know. The funds are already there. So when the government is doing their work, allow them to do their work. Your own job as an individual is to find the job the government are not doing and put them to it. 
Because it's not a big deal to fix roads. It's not a big deal, my people, to fix roads. It's the work of the governor. To give you security is the work of the governor. To give you health care. So if the governor knew he cannot do that job, it should not run for the post. So when we speak, it's not because we don't like the governor or because we hate the governor. No. A lot of people have a very small mindset. We don't hate the governor. We just want the government to improve in the areas that is a part of their jobs. I, for example, I love arts and culture. Which many of you know, I love arts and culture. In the last four years, there has been no activities for arts and culture. Look at the palace or the sorry, the cultural center of Ebon, Ebon Cultural Center. I have been there. There was a time I went there, the ambassador. Another time I went there, I was with the German Consular General Ingo Abbott. Wole Shoinka has been there. A beautiful arts center in Benin City. People come from all over to come and see Ebon, but the road. Leading to this is us. It's not good. It's not motorable. When I was in the U.S. convoy going to the South, I was actually ashamed. It's the truth. I was ashamed. I was a part of the people who escorted the U.S. ambassador to visit the bomb. If you follow me enough, you've seen the, those updates. But going to this man as as great as the bomb in Benin Kingdom, a chief priest with so much antifat and so much to show. The road leading to his house is not good. All right, as a lover of hearts, do you think I will be happy about such governance? No, I cannot be happy because I can think. I cannot be happy that something that we have, Edo State, Benin Kingdom is known for arts and culture. A man who is projecting it in Edo State, right? And people from outside Edo State who are not Edo people, we are talking about ambassadors, counselors, great people, come around there to see a ball even with the bad road as an individual who love hearts do you think i should be happy that the government have not been able to improve on that road for years it's been almost 10 years i'm not talking about when i speak about government government is a continuity so if i'm talking today maybe the issue started years ago look at the well road we have been crying for years still nothing no hope in that area should i be happy no, of course not. Government, it should be about the impact they have created in your direct community. You understand? All right, so let's keep going. Okay. Oh, I need more years. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Stevie Kessler. They are playing with the do people, yes. They are playing not all the do people, some Edo people who do not understand the purpose of governance. You understand? You should understand the purpose of governance, especially after you have lived in Europe, where animals in Europe they have a, a, a chemist. Animals have a clinic, free clinic. If your dog is sick now, there's a clinic in Europe, in America, you can take your dog to. Your dog will get free treatment. Your dog is issued a head card when your dog run out of the street they see a distressed dog they have animal rescue you just call them within five minutes they will be there if you find a snake in your room they have a rescue to come and take it out then you want to compare that to a country that do not even know if you you as a human being if you exist you are living in a country that provide all that to their animal then you will not start supporting a government somewhere a country where majority of people sleep in darkness. Come on, guys. Let's start telling ourselves the truth. Nobody hates anybody. But we have to speak truth to power. We have to enlighten our people the purpose of governance. You are living in Europe. Have you not seen some nights? They will be fishing road at night before they break. The road never spoil. Oh. The road never spoil. Just may not go spoil for future. You see that they do it for nights. Have you not seen it? I have seen it many times. There will be fishing road, and before you wake up, you have a new road. So, fishing road is a part of governance. Renovating stadium is a part of governance. Uh, doing all the basic things that should be afforded to you is a part of governance. I 
Andrew, yes, you are correct. Nigerians don't know the freedom of speech. It's a very, very big problem. You know, it's a very, very big problem. Part of the biggest problem we have that Nigerians cannot accept you for your own opinion. Nigerians want you to accept what they accept. It's very, very small, small-minded people, man. You know, it doesn't make sense. You have your own choice. We have our own choice. We're born in a different day. We have different dreams. We have different beliefs. If you choose to support Governor Obaseki, that's your, that's, your, that's your wish. Nobody's against you for that. If you choose to support Isayamu, that's your wish. If you choose to support Osunde of AAC, that's your wish. And that's what I preach in my organization 24-7 every day. You know, because you are a part of our organization, doesn't mean that you cannot support who you want to support. A true case of support is our brothers in Toronto, Canada, Victor Ojo and uh, Baba Tanju, both great supporter of God Sent Foundation, what we are doing at, at, at our office, all right? They both live together in the same city. They are friends. They are both uh, founder of a God Sent Foundation, all right? Now, Victor Ojo is supporting Obaseki. He has even pledged to give two of his vehicles to the, towards the campaign. Meanwhile, our daddy, Patanju is supporting uh, Isayamu, but me as their president, I am in the middle. I cannot support anybody. But guess what? Whoever win is a win for the Onosage because these two persons are on my team. I am so proud to be their president. They are on my team. All right, let's keep going. I wasn't ready for a live video, but I'm not put up on my mouth. What people? That's what they do now. Now from here they find my trouble. Weep, 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 weep. Some people will just be crying. Well, you don't be crying for my matter. God. You just be crying. I just do here. Make a comment. And I have for the chat everything. Hmm? Let me let me let me let me, let me make one bad comment. Let's let's go. Let's see who talking here there. Okay, we are live. Okay, let's see who talking here. I'm not giving one. I'm not giving one from here. Okay, let's see. This is what somebody said in this post now. Somebody said this is this what you supposed to be posting, not contrib contributed to other people party. Okay, this is what you're supposed to be doing. Go I posted the get picture. So I want now kind of this. What it concern you? You get. What it concern you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, social media can kiss me. I don't really have a lot of time for social media. 90% of my time is spent on doing my work. All right, obviously, when I wake up in the morning, gotta do my morning calls, you know, make my calls and everything. But by the time I get to my God Center office, it's about 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, we are online. We broadcast for about four hours, it's already three o'clock. So, majority of my time is spent on trying to help our people, trying to enlighten our people that the purpose of governance is uh, to give you a good life. Many of us living in Europe, the basic things we have in Europe and America is what we call luxury here. Do you want to take it outside? As I speak to you now, I'm on generator. I am on generator. Is that what you call governance? We'll tell ourselves the truth, I beg. All right, let's go. Toby John, four plus four. Equals to eight. Hey, congratulations, man. I cannot hate you because you believe in four plus four. So four. Why not? No. I am too exposed for that. I cannot hate you because of your choice of the party you believe in. All right? You have your own reasons, and I have mine. So four plus four for you, talk about. But for me, it is a four minus four. John, which side you did? PDP or APC? Koro, koro. I don't do any side. I don't do any side. Some pretty quality. You are looking for your daily bread, my guy. You know it's easy to make daily bread, my guy. If not, if I have to do this to eat, it's better than you that depend on a woman. Eh? I know you very well now. You depend on a woman to make a daily live. They they will never breathe. Your babe don't never use bathroom for night for uh, for money. You know, they lick nyash, lick everything. They Chris. All right. Sam Perry, you are looking for your daily bread. Okay, I'll read that. Okay, Frank, you are looking fresh, though. Thank you. Prince Lawrence, AMB, the problem we have in Nigeria is that no security. 
and they don't value life. Of course, no security now. Now, now and listen, man, I don't understand. In 21 century, security, electricity can improve on security. Electricity can improve on security. They don't even know that. Let me show you guys this video again, please. I made this video right from my balcony where I was on in Benin. Can't find it now. But however, imagine they're taking light in the middle of the night. You're just there. They just take light. Look. I think this is the video. Alright. Hello, this is the video. What? You can basically see everywhere from the balcony. Alright, so just imagine in a few minutes they're gonna take all these lights and almost everybody are gonna sleep in darkness unless you have a generator or a solar system. So just watch. Watch oh they also take light. Twelve oh eight, the all the thing. See that? Yeah, they don't take out. You see that? You see how? Just imagine. Just imagine. You see how? We had light today just now. As a reach that time, 12 o'clock, 12.08. Between 12.07 and 12.08, you have to think that they're about to take the light. So most time, I have to force myself to sleep before 12 so that I cannot be in darkness. Can you imagine that kind of thought? Trying to sleep early because they're going to take electricity soon. Oof, man. I need to call the United States Embassy, man. I gotta book my ticket, I gotta leave this country. You know, I gotta call my embassy right right now, man. Uh, I gotta call my embassy. US Embassy. They, they gave me a call last night, last two nights, you know, talking about you know Sage when you wanna leave Nigeria and all that. You know, I'm like you know, I love my people, I'm doing my best, you know, to collaborate. I booked my tickets. What's the day? Uh oh, time don't go this far. Oh wow. Time don't go far. I'll call you tomorrow. Okay. Let's read some comments. Let's read from Lady T, one of our good supporters in Europe. Don't mind them. They see any road project that that they start chatting. Last last night I was coming from the hospital by two a.m. and there were a lot of men. Of course, now uh, uh, now people and the way they invest me past now people with the Europe, with the all this country, where they see what the government they do, eh? You see they shout. Some people will even say this when you see flood everywhere. Some people will say a uh, flood is a normal thing. Oh, it's not a normal thing. How many times do you see flooding in Europe? This is everyday thing in our community. Anytime it rains, you expect that. It has been like this for years. Come on, guys. Two years is enough for any government to control erosion. All right. Oh, D D K. I can find trouble. I can find trouble. <laughs> I'm a Sakura. Uh, people don't know me. That they, that they, you want to get anything for my matter. Now you know. Because that's Omo. See what I learn, my people. I never knew. And this is the honest truth. Alright. That's why the fact that I studied computer information system. That was many years ago. I never worked with it. I have a, I have a degree in computer information system and telecommunication. Alright. Double major. I never worked with it. So I did not know that. Blocking somebody, may I find one person who I block? May I find one comment? I did not know that blocking somebody was so easy and sweet. Okay, let me go to the post I made about uh, governor. I know there will be a lot of negative comments there. Let's see, uh, okay. Let's see one comment. That's why anybody. Okay, let's. This guy, I am. I'm seeing how much interest you have, you have for your e-commerce government. It's like APC is using you as their mouth. Remember? Okay, let's let's block this guy. Just because I made a post, though, remember this. Just look at the post I made. PDP party told us some time ago that the governor had no certificate, which is a fact. It is online. PDP came out online and told the adult people that the governor of a state, APC governor, had no certificate. They threatened to sue. 
Okay, I said that. I do say again. This was months before his disqualification from APC. In fact, they told us that he had to certificate months before the governor was disqualified from APC. Okay, so what is PDP saying today? What is PDP saying today? That the same governor they threatened had no certificate, they are not adopting him. Something is wrong. We have got to ask questions. Are they lying on the governor? Who are they fooling? These are questions that everyone of us need to start asking. That's what I post to. That's what I post to. No opinion. This guy is beginning right note here. Okay. Okay, this is Encheli. Uh, Encheli. You see, this guy, I, I am seeing much interest you have on equipment governor. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Because I've made my own point, which are obvious facts that uh, PDP actually came out to question that the governor did have uh, uh, my own point to you see, you, automatically they formed it into it. All right. So it's like APC is using you as an happy. So to block is very easy. If you don't know, let me teach you now. Okay, let me let me use this guy as an example. You just click on the message like this. Bah. You see this comma like this profile. You click here, bah. You just show you block. Then you just put this one. Uh block. You see that? Boo! It's been blocked. It's so easy. You know? So it is actually very stupid of you to take time out at least to create a fix a Facebook account. It's gonna cost you about four to five minutes because you're gonna to have to verify on your email or your phone, create a name, put a profile picture, a fake account. But the same fake account, you are creating it just to make a negative comment on somebody's post, on somebody's wall, somebody's opinion. Forgetting that, it will take that person less than 20 seconds to block all your effort in five minutes. Of course, if I if I see a comment, if I just want to block it, you click on the message, it's blocked. If I want to delete you, click on the message, go to your profile, enter block. You understand? So please, let's stop being stupid by using fake account just to make negative comments. If you are not real enough to use your real self to defend what you stand for, then you should be ashamed of yourself. All right, so let's keep going. We need more videos, just show people back home our life is valued in Europe. Of course, of course, I'll be taking my trip soon. Maybe I will start enlightening them from there. I will be taking my trip soon so that they can see the way normal people are living. I will take them to an animal shelter. Edo State has no shelter for women. You that came from uh, from Kenu uh, that took a boat from uh, Morocco to Europe. The Euro government, that is not your government, they will rescue you. They will take you to their refugee camp. They will put you there. You will be sleeping. You will have Wi-Fi. They will even give you money on top. You that is not a citizen of Italy or Spain, all these countries in the border would accept a lot of uh, refugees. Look at what they are doing to you. How many times has your government of Nigeria given you a stipend? What have you benefited? Nothing. But yet, you will not support the government that helped you, that gave you everything. Paying your child, your son, your daughter, paying them money every month. You will not one day try to vote for them or even support the political system there. You will be there, but you will be in that country using free Wi-Fi and clapping. Hey, you have my voting now. Is a yamu or magbe? Ah, APC, PDP, four plus four. Isn't it so crazy and pathetic that the people that were condemning PDP just last week? I'm not running back to PDP. I cannot understand. It doesn't make sense to me. You told us last week that PDP was a was a chop money party. I chop, you chop party. But the same party is now where you ran to. As a young person, I have every right to question. I have every right to not support. I have every right to be against. Because you have already convinced us that this party is bad. You now go to that party. A party where Godfatherism is the order of the day and you are against Godfatherism. It means that even if the PDP admit Obaseki as their candidate governor, there's a great chance that they are also going to have issue because PDP is not as share as share party. This is a fact. There's, a great, there's going to be a great chance that because Obaseki is a, such a good man, he does not want to share money, he does not want Godfatherism, but 
PDP is not for that. So meaning that once he becomes a governor, we let God help him so I you win, may the best fighter win. Let's assume he becomes a governor, he's also gonna be against God for that reason. And those persons in PDP may not have it. So the problems are just keep coming. We're watching everybody, all right? We're watching everybody, we are watching with our ego eye. Mm -hmm. We'll let the lazy youth in those state continue to rant on social media. You two have not contributed one thing to the development of those states. All right? Support governor, support governor. I support Obaseki. I support Izei Amu. It's a beautiful thing for you to support your choice. I have my choice I'm going to support. But then, your support should not just end online now. Your support should not end online. You should support your governor. Try to remove one person from the streets. Support your governor. Some of those women, he promised an audio promise at the Kyosa market. The governor promised a hundred million at the Kyosa market. It's been six months. The governor has not done anything. So if you think that maybe my mom was affected in that market and the governor made a promise six months later, he has not achieved it. Do you expect me to be happy with the governor? No. These women depend on their market sales every day to earn a living. The fire got into the market. Everything got bought down. You promised them a hundred million. That two weeks is enough to, to, to make that happen. Two weeks. Knowing fully well that these women depend. We have rescued one. If you follow me enough, we have rescued one of the women from a Kusa market. We gave her 120,000 naira to set up a village market business. We have rescued one of them, a Kusa market women. Huh? Look, this is her. We gave her, look, look, this is the woman. She, she, her shop was burned down. Her shop was burned down at Kyosa Market. She has not received anything. Look at all the women we are rescued. Look at uh, Favor's grandmother. Look at the smiles we are creating, man. Look at this woman that was crying the other day that we gave a hundred thousand dollars to start the market. All right. So you look at the smiles. Look at the cancer woman. All right. Look at blessing. Blessing. The metal head girl. All right. Look at Friday at the body. Young man that was shot in Lagos. All right. All these are done during this COVID nineteen. No, not be this. This one be old work. Not new work. Eh? In the last 90 days, we have spent 11.7 million naira supporting the Dose government. And you are still there telling me Jerusalem not like the governor with everything we are doing to support the state. Um, you well. Some persons tell me that Jerusalem, some of your Godsend Foundation member, they will not support you because you are against the government. Look, if you are supporting our work and you do not accept my opinion, my freedom of speech, to exercise my right to support who I want, to be against who I want, please don't support us again. Stop supporting. Because our foundation is built on freedom of expression, freedom of liberty, freedom to do what you want. Our organization is not sentimental. So if you have a choice to support who you want, your president also have a choice to support who they want. All right? So I think I'll let you guys go for now. Let me go and eat some rice and stew while I continue to comment on negative comment and block some hmm? i'll block some of you if you know so you get mine make one comment here now if you know so you get mine jennifer there's no topic for today we are just chatting up all right there's no topic for today we are just chatting up you know the truth has to be said let's be realistic before four years ago let's face the fact this is not against or for. But before four years ago, before Obaseki became a governor, did you know him? Ask yourself. Before Obaseki became a governor, did you know him? Have you heard of him? Did you know of any project he did to make Edo better? I did not. I did not. I did not. So I am not against him. I just want him to do better. I wish him all the best of luck. You know, since he has turned himself into APC and PDP. You know, let them let them go for it. But at the same time, power should not be so something that we should be so desperate about. Power is something that comes with it's gonna to come to you. If you do good thing for the people, 
If the people love you, no matter what, you are going to get the power. You understand? It's not a do or die affair, man. That's the biggest thing with Nigerian politicians. They make power a do or die affair. They put their children in America, Canada, London. Hmm? Their children are there. But they are in Nigeria fighting for power using you, using your family member. I advise your people, man. I advise your people. Nobody, nobody is a fool. Why can't they their children? Let them put their children in the front line. How many politician children can you show me on social media that is even fighting for their dad? Can you show me? On the old social media, just take all the Edo politicians from local government chairman to the governor to the commissioners to the House of Rep to the senators. There's none. Alright, so why are you not using yourself as a scapegoat for them? I beg you, I'm not wise. I don't feel talk again. I'll talk to you guys later. Jerry Flossy. Okay, let me read you out. Dion, shut up your mouth. You don't see smoke Igbo this afternoon. Like I said before, Igbo is legal in many, many countries like Canada, Amsterdam. So if you ever want to smoke, please contact me. But in the meantime, may I block you because block the street me, Jerry. No, may I block you for you. So you see the way I think they block you. May I block you from this side? So sweet when you block. Well, I come, God send family. How come you guys is telling me that it is it is sweet to block? Johnny, don't smoke it, bro. Johnny, don't smoke it, bro. It's going to bat him. It's going to fire you. Huh? If a country like Canada can can legalize Igbo, so everybody they smoke, it means that it's a very, very good thing. Okay, Flossy. See you. See how easy I, see how, see how I want to block you. See you here. Huh? See, very easy. I enter here like this. Uh -huh. You can't show me block. See ya. Oh, is, is it? I do TikTok. Block Jero Flossy. Jero Flossy will no longer be able to see your post, tag you, invite you to event, start a conversation. <laughs> bye bye. Yeah, yeah, boyfriend. Listen, Jero. People like you, I don't feel come. You know, hate me per se. Now, because say your babe, your girlfriend, will you want to die for? She too love me. Now, make you the verse. You don't need to verse, bro. Eh, work hard. Step up. All right. Say, take him. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Woo! You don't go. You don't go. Yeah, yeah, boy. You want to use the paper? If you make pen, any pen, any pen there, man, you'll see one comment. If you use pen, try yourself. Try yourself. If you make pen, Okay, I never said it once. Oh, okay, I don't know myself, have Eh, okay, that gets sense. Okay, make pen, huh? You know, so you don't want make pen. Eh, see, see that life. That don't want make, that, see that life. That don't want make pen. May I come up to now? Tiffany, of course, I'm a very jovial guy. If you spend time with me, you will love uh, hanging out with me. People take things so serious. Things that, things that, God, thank you for the way you created me. Because me, I don't even take anything personal or serious. A lot of persons really think that when they shout online, yell online. A lot of people think that when they shout online, yell online, that they are killing me. They are teaching those. I don't even, it doesn't even move an inch. Okay. Hello. Yeah, great to you. Huh? Hey, SIM card off for now. Yeah. Oh, yes, Baba. What's your update? Do, do I do what? RDP camp, what is that? No. What's going on there, man? Uh, but you are, a, you are a media guy now. Why don't you go and tell your governor, Governor Baseki? Why are you calling me? I'm not the governor. Uh, but I'm not, the, I'm, not the, I'm not the governor of the state now. You guys should call the governor. My brother, my brother, my brother, my brother, with the little we are doing, 
We appreciate it. You cannot do all that project for now. Like, hey, you, hey, you try. Hey. Don't don't talk to my governor like that, man. I will not. I will not accept that from you. No, on on the real, it's not it's not a joke, man. I will not accept anybody insulting the governor. You can criticize him because you know he has a big lip. Well, <laughs> bro, I'll talk to you later, man. Uh, Alright. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm not around. I'm in Lagos. Alright, sir. Alright, much love, bro. Alright, guys. Um, I think I'll let you guys go now. Enough of the entertainment. I want to say that I love you. In normal, keep on moving. My man, uh, thank you so much for your support when I was in Finland. Essiken, Essiken. I was in Essiken. You showed me love, mad love in the club. I was in Essiken with my man. In normal, me keep on moving. We don't stop. We keep. When I was in Finland, I once cut out the border now. As I born in Mia Osazua from Spain, the immigration one they do me jay jay. And I want to scatter, scatter everywhere before they come settle the issue. Alright, so one love guys. Please, oh, I am not an enemy. Natasha. Okay, like our sister here, Natasha, who's just joining now. Natasha, her mom is a victim of a Kyosa market. And Natasha, they don't give your mama anything. Hmm? Robin, you don't like me at all. Eh? All those women. Where they come stand for my outside every morning, you know they say for me? Eh? They say for me, they won't finish me. You don't think be finishing? Hey God. Uh, wow. It's alright. I enjoy the job anyway. I enjoy the job. And, uh, we'll go again. We'll catch again later. Let me let you guys go, okay? Alright, thank you so much for your support. This is just a home chilling video. And like I said, this is what I do when I'm chatting with you guys. If you take it personal, too bad for you. No, it's not on me. Anything you take personal is on you, man. It's not on me. All right, comrade Atete, comrade Atete, Atete one of Bologna, my lovely brother. I thank you so much. I always see your testimony online. How you use a boat? You use this boy Atete of Bologna use a boat from Mediterranean Sea to enter Europe. Mediterranean Sea cross to enter Italy. Today's in Italy. It's been five years. He's been able to build his mom's house. He's been able to come back. So a man who risked his life to cross, knowing that he may die 50 50 now he's successing, succeeding, you are over there angry because the man is not living better than you. You have to fear God though. I beg. One love, guys.